enjoys using natural light. It's artistic, right? I mean, you know. my last video this is the look I did uh, it's very simple it's very glowing quite natural um, it's actually a really nice look uh, for whatever time you want if you want to go during the day if you have to just you know run errands or whatever Ooh, I forgot a hair I, mean, I can't even see it hang on oh my god you can't even see this it's like Yeah, tiny little itty bitty hair. Anyhow, so rewind. You want to, you know, this is a great look for going out. This is a great look for daytime. If you want to, of course, dress it up, then you can add a lip. Maybe you can add some glitter. You can add some winged eyeliner. So I'm gonna do those things today. So if you wanna see how I got to this point, watch my last video. Um, I will link it right here. And uh, you can go watch that, get to this point. And then come back. First here. thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a little bit of glitter. Now I've got these um, glitters from Lit Cosmetics. Uh, I have a bunch of them, but um, these ones are my neutrals. I stack them as neutrals. Uh, I'm going to use this one, which is called Oprah. I'll show you. It's actually this really, really beautiful um, kind of pinky, bronzy glitter, but it's very, very fine. I think this one is number two. And the Lit Cosmetics glitters go by uh, by sizes, so. Number one is super fine and almost doesn't read as glitter. It's just a tiny little bit of sparkle. Number two is a little bit thicker. Number three, of course, is quite thick. You can hear my puppies barking in the background. Just ignore. So I'm going to take a flat brush. And please excuse me if I squint because I don't have in my contact lenses because I don't have contact lenses. That's a very long story. I can't see, so we're winging this. I hold my mirror too close to my face. Please forgive me. So you could use pretty much anything. You could use Fix Plus. You can use... Eye drops, um, water is not going to work. I'm going to use the Lit Cosmetics Glitter Glue. This one is the waterproof one, um, the water resistant one. <laughs> but I am going to get it onto a cotton bud. Just quite a lot comes up, so I'm going to roll it on the back of my hand to take off the excess. Can you see? And then I'm just going to pat this on my eye. Pick up a little bit more if I need to. Dab it onto my eye. And then with my finger, I'm going to pick up a little bit of glitter and pat it onto my eye. You do not want your brushes to get in contact with this glue if you use it because it will destroy your brushes. Now I'm not trying to keep this super precise. I actually want it to be more concentrated on the lid and then sort of just blow up and out. I mean, this is it is Christmas. Let's let's go nuts and be nice and sparkly so that we can all look like Christmas trees. And once you're happy with that, yeah, I'm happy with it. You can do the other eye. Well, I mean, if you wanted to just want to walk around, hey, I guess. This glitter, the, the Lit Cosmetics glitters are just so unbelievably beautiful. So many, I mean, when I was trying to, when I was making my order, it was really, really hard for me to choose which ones to get. I know I'm going to go back and get more because, because you don't want to dip your, because it's the same thing as your brush. You don't want to dip your finger or whatever you're applying your glitter with into the glitter and then place it here. Because wherever you touch down first, it's gonna have the most concentration of glitter. So I'm always starting along the lash line or closer to the inner corner. Oh, look at the sunspots on my face, how fun. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can fix that, but if I can't, then please forgive me. I have been trying to record all day. I've had so many issues. <sighs> I'm really hoping this comes up. Okay, so uh, I literally have about, oh, 15 minutes before it gets really, really dark. So. 
if the lighting has changed, that's why the sun has kind of gone down now. <laughs> so I started without hitting record. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm just giving myself a little bit more definition in my crease. I don't want to go too warm with it. You could do if you wanted to use something like Frap or Cocoa Bear from um, Makeup Geek, you could do that. I want to keep it a little bit more neutral because my face is already so warm. I'm quite tan. I have a warm skin tone and I don't want to go too red. I don't want to look like I've been in the sun too long, just like I've been in the sun. So I'm going to take Mac's Charcoal Brown, which is this one, and then Mac uh, Espresso, which is this one. And at first I'm taking it with a fluffy brush and I'm just going to pop it into, I already started, but I'll just keep going. And um, the reason that I'm using my fluffy brush to place it as well as blend it is because then you get a really, really nice sort of diffused fade. Um, if you place it with another brush, like a thicker brush, a, a, a flatter, stiffer brush, like say this one, you'll have a little bit more of a hard time blending it, especially because we already have the glitter on there and already have the glue. Of course, you could put on your shadow before you put your glitter on, but because I'm a little bit backwards, I didn't. So I'm just uh, continuing this. I'm not taking it, I'm not even taking it into the middle of my crease, uh, which is there. I'm stopping it just short of the middle. And you can keep it a little bit more around, or you can blow it out slightly. I'm blowing it out. And I'm gonna switch brushes, but I'm gonna keep this one handy. I'm going to go for a smaller, slightly stiffer blending brush and I'm going to pick up my espresso just on the tip. This shadow by MAC is really, really nice, but it is a matte and it's a little bit harder, uh, a little bit more difficult to work with. So that's part of the reason why I'm laying down the charcoal brown first. It's going to help it blend up a lot smoother. And I'm just taking it right here. I'm not even pulling it onto my lid much. I'm just letting the brush do its work in the corner in the outside corner of my crease. Take the brush back and forth. Once pretty much everything is gone, I'm going to sweep it across the whole crease just so that, you know, the shadows don't start too abruptly right there. Check and see that we like the look of it. Yes, we do. Okay. Oh, stretch. I'm going to add a winged liner. And now this is going to be very difficult for me to do. Uh, on camera with my small mirror just because again I don't have my contacts so I can't okay. see. Okay, this is the Physicians Formula 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Liner Plus Serum and I'm just going to check that I have the right placement for my wing first on both sides. And then once I like my placement I'm going to make sure that uh, it extends as far as I want it to. I want it to go pretty far. Then I'm just going to take it, pull it right way back in. Now the difficulty with putting eyeliner on after you put on glitter is that it is more difficult to get your line to not look bumpy or wonky. So just keep working with it and there we go. Now you can go back over this if you want to with a gel eyeliner. I'm not going to put on eyelashes. I'm just gonna hit my eyelashes with another coat of mascara. This time I'm using my Rimmel Scandalize and I think it's called Dramatic Black, Classic Black, something like that. Oh, Retro Glam, it's the Retro Glam and it's in black. That's all we need to know. I'm just gonna do that. Um, choosing this one because it's a thickening mascara. But of course, if you're not lazy like me, you can go ahead and put on falsies. I actually really, really love this mascara. And I quite like the brush. It's just difficult to put your mascara on without making a mess with this brush for some reason. Because I guess because it's so fat, uh, I don't know. But the mascara itself is lovely. I love it. Okay. Last little touch for the eyes. I'm going to take my flat brush with a little bit more espresso and I'm just going to run it. So 
So now we're gonna try a couple of different lipsticks with this. This is such a nice neutral face that you can wear any lipstick color with it. So I'm gonna show you three different options. First option is a nude. Now of course you could just go plain nude. One of my absolute favorite nudes of the moment, I think probably of all time, is Velvet Teddy from MAC. For my complexion, this works beautifully. Myth is a little bit too pale. High tea maybe could work. Um, but a lot of the other nudes are just too pale. I'm quite tan and nude lips mean that your lipstick matches your skin, not that <laughs> not that your lips are ghostly white, which is a look by itself, something different, but no. So if I wanted to go super nude, I would use Velvet Teddy. It's also a matte and I love it, I love it. I will use it in another tutorial, I promise, because I love it. But this time I'm gonna go with a little bit more of, uh, I hate to say it, but a Kylie Jenner sort of look, um, more brown. This one is by this brand that's shown up in Barbados, um, Nika K in New York, and it's not bad actually. Um, it is, it's quite perfumey, but I don't mind that. And if you can see, it's uh, it's a nice sort of medium brown. On a lighter skin, this will look a little bit darker. On a darker skin, this might actually work as a nude. So those are your options. And I quite like this. So first, I'm just gonna line my lips with my very small and very well-loved clean color uh, lip pencil in the color Mocha. There is something so 90s, but still so sexy about a brown lipstick. Just, I love it. So here's your first lip option. Next up option um, is, I was gonna go for red, but I mean, this, that would just make this a pinup look with a little bit of glitter, um, which it more or less is. Um, instead, I'm gonna use this one by Rimmel. This is the lasting finish by Kate in number 60, and it's this beautiful berry tone. And it's just stunning. So I'm gonna use my uh, lip pencil from the same brand as the brown lipstick, and this is in the color red. Um, but I love these lipsticks. I have used them several times. I have many of them. They're beautiful. These, the Rimmel ones with the black packaging, they're gorgeous. They smell nice, not overly perfumey, and they actually last quite well. If you put them on blot and apply again, it'll last a good long time. And there you have your very colored. Which is a beautiful classic Christmas kind of color. It's just, it's lovely. So our last lip option is going to be another classic one. I mean, this is a Christmassy holiday party type look. Um, this is going to be a nice dark burgundy. I have Media by MAC and this is gorgeous. Oh, my friend Stephanie gave this to me. And I love it. I wear it all the time. And I'm actually going to use it without any um, lip liner. It means you have to be nice and precise. You can go with a brush, but I find that this just applies really nicely from the bullets. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And there you have it. That's the uh, burgundy lip. You can of course throw a gloss on top if you want it to be glossy. I actually really like it matte, but I'm quite a sucker for matte. Uh, I find that this, this says it's a satin, but it goes on quite matte. You can blot it down to make it very matte. And it, again, this is, it's just so rich and lively and this, I just love it. So I'm sorry this felt a little rushed, but I am racing the daylight, like I said. So I'm going to say goodbye and I'll see you in the next video.